That picking pattern is the Travis picking pattern. It's one of a few variations on the Travis picking idea. The one that I included on my little video on the technique uh, a little while ago, it would be really cool to develop that idea. And I've been developing it with some private students. Um, and I thought it'd be really good to get that up onto my Patreon page for students that are looking to try and develop their picking. And also to help with other songs that I'm gonna be uploading soon to the channel, which use this idea of combining legato, i.e. hammer-ons and pull-offs, with Travis picking in order to get more melody notes out of, out of chord progressions, really. That's what it's for. So we've got uh, two developed ideas for this, with the first being a hammer-on added to that progression, and then being a hammer-on and pull-off added to the progression. So to do the hammer-on, we're gonna be taking our C chord, and we're gonna be using our pinky to hammer on to the third fret. And then we're gonna pick the high E string open. That third fret will still be there, and that'll be our little added on pattern that comes off after the picking. So it'll sound like this. Okay, do that again a bit slower. Once you've reached that point, you're gonna change chord to A minor. And then you repeat the same hammer-on pattern that you did on the C chord. Okay, in context with the C, it'll sound like this. We're then changing to F. That's the same way we did F last time. I've got the cowboy style F because I'm gonna do the same idea. I've gotta have my pinky free. So you'll see this hooked over cowboy style, thumb over the top, Jimi Hendrix, eat your heart out. That's the way we're gonna play this chord because I wanna free up those fingers to do these extra melody notes. And it's gonna sound like this. And change to the F minor. Do that again slower. I've got this little bar in, so I had to remove my second finger to get the bar for the F minor. And then I go to my open G string and back to my C chord. And that's our first developed version. So it'll sound like this. Developing it again, I'm gonna do a pull-off and a hammer-on. Now, this is not dissimilar to Sebastian's tune by Eric Bibb. It's a really nice thing to do on a C chord. Get this high G on it, right? And I'm gonna start with that on, sound like this. So the same picking pattern, I've just got a high G on the top. Then I'm gonna do a pull-off, high E, third fret, to open. Then I'm going to do the hammer on we did before. Like that. So it'll sound like this. Okay. Go down to my A minor. Much like last time, I'm going to repeat the pattern. Into my F. And that's the same, the F bit was the same. Okay, all the way through, this one will sound. Lovely sound. Music theory buffs out there will realize that we're playing in the key of C. 
so my A minor is the sixth chord. My F is the four chord. F minor. Ooh. Is a four minor chord, and it's a really common songwriter's trick is to play the F chord or in any 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 four chord. Sounds lovely. Um, and you get this lovely descending. Back. Lovely. If, now this is um, deliberately hard, okay, this F minor bit. It's deliberately hard, so as it's getting you going with these hard bar chords, so as you can play nice songs that include them. If you find it's too much and you can't get the notes to ring out, because when you're playing Travis picking or any picking style, bar chords become super scrutinized because you've got to be able to press with enough pressure to get the sustain out of those barred notes, right? So if you find that too much at the beginning, I'll stick another transcription up with a sus chord instead of a major or minor. So that'll sound like this on the F. What I'll do is I'll just remove the second finger. So it's an open G. Okay, for any of those F chords, so that'll be like this. So in context, if we played our second uh, version, for example, and left it as an F sus, it would sound like this. Which you can hear sounds uh, absolutely fine. So if you find that that F minor is too much, then just ditch it for an F sus, and it'll still sound great. Um, it just doesn't quite have the mystery of the F uh, major minor uh, move. Yeah, that's that's it for today. That's our Travis Picking extended version uh, for which the transcriptions are all available on my Patreon page. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And I'll hope to see you again in another video. Cheers. Thanks. Bye.